husband and wife fly out of Charlotte with two firearms locked away in a case, but when they landed in Boston, they were gone. Yeah, definitely concerning is something police are now trying to get to the bottom of. All of this unfolded on Monday, about a week before many of us are going to be heading to the airport for the Thanksgiving holiday. Several agencies, both local and federal, are now investigating. Our Michael Warwick is live at Charlotte Douglas International Airport tonight with a story you'll see only on WBTV. So, Michael, why was that couple in our area to begin with? Well, Chelsea Simone and her husband were in western North Carolina helping with hurricane relief. And to get their firearms home, they say they followed every TSA rule. Her only logical explanation why they didn't make it to their destination was that they were stolen here at the airport. Like, that's a significant concern. Like, you just let two firearms go out to who knows where. Flying from Charlotte to Boston this week, Army veteran Chelsea Simone checked a locked case with Delta Airlines with these two custom handguns inside. Her flight home, no problems until she landed. And I noticed that the, the locks were gone. Both of them, both locks were, were gone. And I said, wait a minute, where, where are my locks? And I want to make sure my firearms are in here. This feels kind of light. Chelsea and her husband's $4,000 guns were missing. She says they had to have been stolen at Charlotte Douglas before they made it on the plane. Chelsea talked to us from her home in New England. And I'm not, I'm not so frustrated for the fact of, you know, I'm going to lose 4,000 so odd dollars. I'm more frustrated for the fact that people's lives are at stake because we have somebody who, A, we don't know who it is, and B, has two uh, firearms that they can do whatever they like with. That's what I'm frustrated about. The TSA, Delta Airlines, and CMPD all tell me they're investigating. However, that's all they're saying. After I did everything I could to protect them and lock them and secure them and do everything by the book. For Chelsea, she's not optimistic she'll see her guns again. At the least, she would like to see some accountability. You know, I, I definitely advise people to, to, to drive if they're going to take their firearms somewhere. Um, I don't advise they fly because this is a significant, you know, moral burden on me right now um, that I don't wish on anybody. Well, Chelsea did speak with a Delta representative today, but says that she still has not been told what happened to her guns since that flight on Monday night. We'll follow it closely live at Charlotte Douglas. Michael Warwick, WBTV on your side.